What is going on, members of the Burger Empire? Brian here for Body by Burgers, and the CrossFit shoe world is about to change as we know it. Uh, we look at Reebok and Nike. Those are kind of the two biggest names when it comes to the Reebok, or when it comes to um, CrossFit athletes, everyday Joes, the average person just using CrossFit shoes. And what we kind of look for is an all-around shoe. Or a, because that's basically what CrossFit encompasses is a little bit of everything. Uh, we got running, we got weightlifting, we got, you know, blah, blah, blah. There had been leaks of the new Nano 9s that, were, that had come out. Um, so far, we've seen two different color weaves on them. There's the black one, and they have, like, the original Reebok symbol, like when you have the, the CrossFit one now, you know, it's kind of like that triangle shape. Um, this one goes back to the original like three swoop mark um, with the black and the blue. And I gotta say, I'm using the blue in my thumbnail. It's ugly. I do not like the looks of the Nano 9s. In blue, black, they're okay. I, I'll give them a pass on that. Um, but when it comes down to the stylistic cues, I will stick with my eights. 100%, um, which is the training shoe that I'm using right now. Um, but looking at all the reviews, um, the people that have used them pre-release, um, which is kind of weird, um, what they did is they actually sent the shoe to a lot of uh, vloggers and everyday athletes to use and test, and very few pro athletes actually got to use the shoe before the release. Uh, Pat Valner got to use it at the Rogue Inventational, and it was kind of news to me until I looked at pictures and I had seen that he was wearing the black nines. Um, so that, that was kind of an interesting test. They're taking feedback from the average everyday consumer and making their shoes better. I don't know if that's going to play well into the overall design of the shoe because I think professional athletes more so know what they're looking for and how to feel and what the shoe should do and perform than us ever average everyday Joes. Um, but what they're saying the upgrades are on the 9 from the 8 is that there is uh, more midsole support so kind of in the arches of your feet area um, which is good because I kind of noticed in when I'm doing um, say a Metcon with a lot of cleans um, a lot of snatches you know the arches of my feet depending on how tight or loose I have my shoe uh, they kind of burn and they don't do well um, at the upper ends of the workout um, Rich Froning says that they're very, very durable. Um, he's done hundreds, if not thousands, of rope climbs with them, and they show zero wear. Um, so, am I looking forward to the nines? I don't know. They're expensive. That's all there is to it. Like, life is expensive, but these shoes are ridiculous. They're somewhere around $135, and apparently that goes for US and Canada. Um, so they're $5 more than when the eights initially came out. And, um... You know, if they could just go ahead and re-release the fives, I'd be happy. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm I'm at here. Um, so, you know, that's the things to look forward to. When it comes to the nines, we've got more midsole support. There's a, a lot more front uh, half flex for when we're doing things like running. Um, Dan Bailey asked the question when he was talking to the designer. There is a YouTube video about it. I'm sure you guys can look it up. Uh, but he's just like, look, I'm looking for a shoe where I can run three miles and then get into the gym and do weightlifting. It's what we do. Um, he kind of dodged the question just by saying that there's more flexibility in the front half of the shoe. Um, you know, so that's the overall look and, and feel of what we can kind of expect from the Nano 9s. Coming into the Metcon 5s, however, we don't know nearly as much about the shoe as we do the Nano 9s, and I don't know if this is what Nike just does. They kind of hide things and they just release it, uh, but they can get away with it. I mean, I'm wearing one of their shirts right now. I, I love their clothing. Super comfortable. It just doesn't fit the bigger guy like normal, so I always have to buy a size up. But um, what very little information I could find on the Metcon 5. First off, I got to say, the, these shoes, they look way better than the Nano 9s. It's it might be one of the reasons why my next generation shoe, I choose the Metcon 5s over the Nano 9s. Um, they have a couple different uh, styles and colors, and, and I just really enjoy the looks of them. Um, but the other reason why this might be my next generation shoe is they have a similar offset 
in the heel to toe ratio as what the mech or the nano fours and fives had so that makes me really excited because i loved my fives and they just kind of wore out over time the knit eights they do have a lot of ankle support compared to the fives but you know it is what it is so um you know there was not much information and feedback that i could find from testers or athletes that have been using the fives um, which are set to come out in july so either the athletes have gotten them and they just haven't been allowed to say a whole lot um, but with that being said nike did just come out with metcon xds they did just come out with a final run pack of the metcon 4 so maybe they're trying to keep this as hush hush as possible so that they can either get rid of old stock or um you know not tarnish the metcon 4's name um one thing where the metcon 4 lacked seemed to be that midsole heel ankle support area um it's not just what i'm going by the looks of it's just kind of what reviews and a couple friends have the mech on fours and that's what they're saying um but just by looking at the pictures of the fives um, which you can see in the thumbnail of maybe you know it's you can see that the midsole support there's definitely more midsole support to the shoe um, and it kind of gives it that you know tapering up effect into the heel so maybe we do have more heel and ankle support out of the Metcon 5s. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, drooling over both shoes at whatever store I pop into and I see them. Um, but as of right now, I mean, like my 8s, they're still in fantastic shape. So I'm not going to be replacing those anytime soon. Unless Reebok, Nike, you're going to send me a pair and I can test them out and let you guys know. That'd be cool. Um, but... As of right now, it's going to be about the only way I can afford them. I mean, the Metcons are coming in at a hefty price of about $175, so about $40 more than the Nanos. Um, but who knows? I'm looking forward to seeing what these shoes are about in the reviews and, and how things are going to trickle down and play out. So that is the video today, guys. Just the fashion world and CrossFit and the functionality per portion of it when it comes to the new shoes is happening in the next couple months here or so so thank you for watching the video today guys if you like the video make sure to like that video comment in the comment section below if you're going metcon or if you're going nano i'm curious to see which ones there's fans of and you know what noble you guys can have some props out here too if you're going team noble getting them donut sprinkle shoes go for it i appreciate the feedback and again i would be willing to do a review on all three shoes I just can't afford them right now. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It's the only way to become a member of the Burger Empire. And until next time, everybody, as always, Burger Power.